Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. In today's video, we're going to be covering the best and worst professions right now in 9.2.7. Basically, if you guys are looking for professions, whether you are just getting into gold making and you're picking up your first two, or let's say you just leveled up a new character and you have to fill those slots with two new professions, hopefully this video will give you some suggestions and guidance. The reason why I'm making this video right now is because 9.2.7 and the region-wide auction house has changed a lot of things. Not to spoil this list, but if you guys watch my previous top 5 beginner professions video, which came out in April this year, my second to best profession was enchanting. For beginners, since it's so simple, it's cheap, and the enchants generally sell very well. However, spoiler alert, enchanting is no longer in that spot, just because enchants themselves are very much crashed on the region-wide auction house, there's barely any profit, and will probably be pretty discouraging if that is your only profession. So I think right now is a great time to kind of renew this list, and I'm making it a little bit special as we're going to be covering all 11 professions, ranking from what I would say the worst or the least you should get, up to the one you should prioritize. But without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, leaving a like or commenting would be awesome. And if you want to see more content yourself, subscribing would be really cool as well. But here we go. So to start off, let me just say that I recommend all professions. At the end of the day, as a gold maker, especially as a crafting gold maker, you need to diversify. And the easiest way to do so is to gain all professions. But let's say you don't have six characters, as there are 11 primary professions. You can only have two on one character, so you need a total of six characters in order to max out your professions. Not everybody will have access to six characters, so hopefully this video will give you a sense of where to prioritize and what to start out first. However, if you have the space, I recommend getting them all. But moving on, like I said, we have 11 primary professions. This is split into two different categories. We have eight crafting professions and three gathering professions. The three gathering being skinning, herbalism, and mining, while the crafting ones are tailoring, engineering, blacksmithing, inscription, alchemy, leatherworking, enchanting, and jewel crafting. So I'm going to talk about gathering professions real quick, even though I will say gathering will not be compared to the crafting professions, as they are just completely different ways to make gold. But before we move on to the crafting, I do want to mention the gathering professions real quick. We currently have three of them which means there's going to always be an odd one out because you can only have two professions per character. I recommend skinning being the one that is on its own or the one that you might decide not to get. The reasoning is, is that mining and herbalism have such good synergy. For example, if you go farm obsidian ore in Vashjir, then you can actually farm Ajara's Veil, vale, which is the herb, in that exact same route. So basically, if you have both professions on one character, you can gather twice as many items or have the opportunity to gather twice as many things. Also, just for the sake of the tier list, I do put mining above herbalism. The reasoning is, is that mining actually has the subcategory of smelting. So even if you are a crafter, let's say you never plan on gathering a day in your life, I still recommend mining as I currently make a ton of gold by simply buying ore off the auction house, crafting them into a bar, then reselling that bar at a higher price. So quickly, just right there, those are the gathering professions, and we're going to move on to crafting. And all right, this is when things get interesting. Now, of course, I am going into this as a beginner mindset. So some of these might have very good items, but as a beginner, you probably will not be crafting those said items. And so at the bottom of this list, in the eighth position, we have engineering. 
Now, the reason why this is so low, and I would put this a lot lower than any other profession, is because Shadowlands engineering is just pretty much terrible. Now, there's of course maybe a handful of items that you could sell, but a lot of them are locked behind reputation or some sort of recipe drop grind, and it's just not really worth your time, especially if you're only limited to a few profession slots. Now, engineering is saved by some of the old world stuff. A lot of mounts in old world do great with engineering. There's a lot of transmog, a lot of utility items, but as a beginner, you more than likely will not be going straight into rep grinds and all of that. So I would just simply avoid engineering. Moving on, the second to the bottom. I hate to say this, it pains me so much to say it, but I have enchanting. Now, like I just said, if you have watched my previous recommended professions video, enchanting used to be my number one recommended or my second recommended. And sadly, that has very much changed. I kind of mentioned it at the beginning of this video, but with the region-wide auction house, there has been a very big hit to the enchanting market. Especially as a beginner with mostly only Shadowlands enchanting, there is very little profit. Currently on the NA region, there's about four enchants that are profitable, and they're making about three to five gold profit per enchant. So it's just a very sad market, and it's really not the best if you only have limited slots. Now, old world enchanting is still all right. There's definitely a handful of enchants that are doing very well in old world, but because you're competing with the region, margins are a lot slimmer, and it's just not as desirable. So that is why enchanting is so low on this list. Moving on, we have inscription. Now, inscription, I'm kind of saddened to say that it is so low on this list, but the reasoning is, is mostly just the time commitment compared to what you can get out of it. Inscription also used to be one of my favorite professions because missives made a lot of money, you also had glyphs, and there was just a lot of different things that you can do with inscription. However, since 9.2.7, the glyph market is struggling a ton, missives are barely worth anything, and if they are worth something, then it takes a ton of time to mill ink. So, in terms of beginner time spent and gold out of it, I do not recommend this, at least not as one of your top picks. I will say some of the items are still very great. Dark Moon decks, I just made a video talking about how that's a great market, and that is true, but in terms of beginner time spent, I would say maybe don't pick this one up as your first profession. Then, moving on, halfway through, we have Alchemy. Now, Alchemy itself, once again, as you guys can probably tell, all of the consumable professions for Shadowlands are pretty much struggling. A lot of people are experiencing, or I should just say, everybody is experiencing low margins, and that's exactly what's happening with Alchemy as well. Yes, there are actually a few potions that are making decent profit, decent as in about 8 gold profit, but... It is kind of rare, and the herb prices and the potion prices are changing drastically. The reason why I put this one above Inscription, and this is kind of when I was determining if Inscription should go above Alchemy, is because Alchemy Old World is so, so strong. Right now, I am making a ton of my gold from Alchemy Transmutes, which comes from Old World Alchemy. So I know we're talking more about the beginner side of things, but if you are a beginner who is willing to dabble in some old world stuff, alchemy is just too strong to, you know, not get. Of course, if you're only sticking with Shadowlands, you can probably pass this one up too. Honestly, if you're sticking with Shadowlands, I might even actually recommend Inscription over alchemy, but because of old world is so strong, I definitely put this above and... There we go. And all right, we have four more professions. And as you will notice, all of these four professions are basically the armor ones that are left. So we have tailoring, blacksmithing, jewel crafting, and leatherworking. The reasoning is armor right now slash weapons are not actually region wide. 
as they are not stackable items or they are not commodities. So right now, basically all of the items you're crafting with these four professions are still server side and there is a lot of profit to be made. Also, I know it's not exactly a beginner market, but legendaries right now are just so powerful with all of this change. So it's just really hard to not recommend these four professions. But I know I can't just put all four of these at the top, so I am going to suggest from the best armor profession to the worst. But if you guys could, if you have four profession slots, I recommend definitely getting all four of these. And so at the fourth from the top, my least suggested armor profession would be jewel crafting. Now the reason why jewel crafting is lower than the others is because you just don't have as much variety. Generally what you're doing is just crafting at necklaces and rings, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just you don't have as much items as you can craft compared to the other professions. Also, outside of armor crafting, there's not really much you can craft. There are some gym clusters and some gym doublets that you can craft, but they are just very low value, and with their high deposit cost, it gets hard making it worth it. Now, I will say a pro about jewel crafting, and this might put it on top of your list, depending on what you want to do to make gold, but right now, jewel crafting is best for vendor shuffles. So if you're somebody who does want a vendor shuffle, honestly, jewel crafting might be your top priority. But for the people who are just kind of crafting stuff and going to sell it on the auction house, jewel crafting would be my least recommended. Moving on, the third from the top, we have blacksmithing. Now blacksmithing is great. This crafts all of your plate armor as well as weapons. And the reason why this is better than jewel crafting, first of all, just a lot more variety and you have other non-armor items. So you have your sharpening stones, you have your waystones, you have a lot of mass craftables that will sell in bulk that really help this profession out. Also, there's a lot of old world stuff that is great with honestly all of these professions, which is why blacksmithing is a number three. Then second to the top, we have tailoring. Now tailoring is awesome, I love tailoring, and the reason why this is so high is because of bags. So you can make your cloth armor, which is awesome for tailoring, but you also have the bag market. And on most servers, bags do very well. I'm talking about Shadowlands bags, of course, but also old world bags. All of these, yet again, as they are non-stackable, they are server side, which means you can get a pretty good profit margin on these items. Also, the perk of tailoring is that it is ridiculously cheap nowadays with, you know, shrouded cloth at 60 silver and lightless silk, I believe, at 2 gold. It is just so cheap to craft these items. And this leaves us with number one, my most recommended profession. And actually, this was the most recommended profession on the last video, so you might not be super surprised, but this is leatherworking. Now, the reason why leatherworking is at the number one spot is, of course, it is a armor profession, meaning that the items have a lot higher profit margins and less overall competition. Also, you get two in one with leatherworking. Because leatherworking is dealing with leather armor and male armor, this compared to tailoring or blacksmithing, you're automatically getting double the crafts or double the diversity. Now, the items aren't doing super great right now, but you do have the option to craft drums, you have armor kits, you have bardings, which are mount equipment, and so much more items that you can mass sell if you like. Once again, they're not doing super well with today's standards with the region-wide auction house, but every once in a while, they will become profitable. Also, there's a ton of old world stuff that is really great for leatherworking. One of my favorite crafted transmog pieces, which are the War Bear Woolies, comes from leatherworking, and it's just a great overall profession. And yeah, that is the tier list of the video. I know this is probably a bit of a longer video, I tried to make this as short as possible, but hopefully if you're a beginner or you're just somebody looking to expand your professions, this will help you out. 
As always, please, if you have enough characters, I recommend picking up all of these professions, because at the end of the day, more diversity, more different items is going to lead to more profit and more gold every single day. But I completely understand as a non-altaholic myself, it is very hard to level up six characters, especially if you only have one or two at the current moment. But everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite profession is and what's been making you the most profit and if you have any other tips for the beginners out there. But everybody, thank you so much. And as always, have a good day.